Welcome to the component four where we will compare fractions, decimals, and percents. How do they all compare? When you compare fraction, decimals, and percents, this is our focus. For example, one quarter, 25%, and 25 hundredths are all equal or equivalent fractions. Likewise, one half, 50%, and five tenths are also equivalent, equal fractions. Fractions, decimal, and percent. We le relate, and that will be the focus of this component of study. When you compare fractions with a like denominator, you simply look at the numerators. In this example, one-fourth and three-fourths, four is your denominator, so we just look at the numerator, the one and the three, and we find that three-fourths is greater than one-fourth. So when you compare fractions with like denominators, just simply sit and look at the denominators and you'll be able to find your answer. Everyone, earlier tonight, earlier tonight, I should say earlier today, we learned how to compare fractions with like denominators. But what happens when you get a fraction with 6 eighths and 1 twelfth? Or a fraction with 1 third and 4 ninths. Your first step is to find a least common multiple. In this instance, the least common multiple of 3 and 9 is 9. Then you convert the fractions making them each have the same denominator. Once you have the same denominator, you simply look at the numerator. From this example, we know that 4 ninths is greater than 1 third. Now we have to compare fractions and decimals. To do this, you first convert the decimal to a fraction, then you make sure each fraction has a like denominator by first identifying the least common multiple like we did before, then you compare the numerators. In this example, the red shows you the fraction and decimal. The blue shows you the lowest common multiple. Remember, the key is to find the lowest common multiple. Finally, comparing fractions and percent. First, you convert the percent to a frac decimal. Then you convert the decimal to a fraction. Then you convert the fraction to have a like least common multiple with the other fraction. In our example, 25% and 4 fiftieths, we know that 25 is 25 over 100 and 4 fiftieths is 8 over 100. So we know 25% is bigger. Now we've learned how to compare fractions, decimal, and percents. Are you ready to begin this component? Let's get on a journey and have some more fun. Remember, you can come back to this video at any time for further assistance.